Okay, let's start this new game plus speed run. But first, the music. Never forget the music. There we go. Oh, oh. wait, where's the storm ruler? Let's see if we have everything. I don't think I have everything ready, cause then. Alright, my phone is on Wi-Fi, right. And for some reason, my own phone messages me saying, Hey, you're online. Yeah, thanks phone. I didn't I didn't know that. Okay, we got the poison shit. Good. There's that. We are t we got the fastest roll. Yes! Okay. Let's start this thing. Let me just check if this um but well, we're gonna check it and we begin journey two, I guess. Uh, it's been a long time since speedrun in any kind, way, shape, or form. So don't expect greatness. I don't expect greatness. So yeah, and it works. Okay, let's do this. I forgot something. Can you guess what I forgot? If your guess is the small leather shield, the answer is yep. Fuck me. Forgot about that thing. Oh well. We're gonna deal with it sooner or later. Also, sorry that the stream was not this uh, morning. I didn't even plan on streaming today, but... Apparently because I'm going back to college and I'm not gonna have time to stream in the usual schedule, but there will be a quick update video. Or a quick... In oh, I... Wait, I did? You know what? Let me let me. I don't know how I got one forty-seven. Honestly, hmm. Actually, I believe it now. Four seconds. Okay, well, um, okay, that's uh, surprising. I didn't expect to get better time than 130, 137, but I guess I'm wrong. 133. I uh, I think the best any percent time for Ludwig's Gundir is 127 or 123, and I have no fucking idea how I'm gonna get that time. I honestly have no fucking idea. But if I ever do, that will be fucking surprising. Come on, come on! Thank you. If this continues as it is, it's gonna be a better time than the... than the Executioner's Greatsword. But the only problem is this weapon doesn't scale that well. And that's the issue. Executioner's Greatsword actually scaled unbelievably well with its strength, and this one doesn't. That's my problem. It doesn't actually scale that well. I wish it did. Naturally, of course, I wish it did. Scaling is all we have in this fucking world. <laughs> so yeah. I'm mashing the B button like crazy. I'm, I'm surprised that my uh, right bumper is... Let's say failing 
30% of the time. But not my B button. That, that's surprising, honestly. Completely surprising. There we go. Whoa, shit. Oh, come on. You couldn't give me one iframe. Really? You couldn't. Okay, that's, that was surprising. I thought I actually fell down, but I didn't. Not all the way through. One minute to kill Ward. One minute. Definitely possible. Of course, we are wielding a... A boss weapon, so no infusions. We're gonna see. If I get aggressive... Hi, Marcus! Welcome to the stream! Welcome to my versions of speedrunning. Of all boss... The speedrun of all bosses. Because I don't like to do the new game version. <laughs> it's because I'm too slow, you know. Not knowing any glitches and then trying to compete. Nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> that is not me. I like to have my advantages. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, it has been a while. Although I did stream yesterday. No, 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 not yesterday. Don't make that mistake. It wasn't yesterday. It was on. It was on Monday. No, on Tuesday actually, because on Monday I wasn't able to stream. I had some workers. Ah, 6.07, 7 seconds in. Damn it, 3 seconds, uh... uh okay, it's fine. Why am I, I mean, why am I so hung up? This weapon isn't that strong. And I'm acting like, oh, it's the most powerful weapon in the fucking game and everybody uses it to run speedruns. But oh well. I guess, I guess I'm competitive against myself, not against other people, but against myself, I'm... Wait, what the f what the fuck am I doing? There we go. Get the heal, get the heal, get the heal. Uh, didn't get the heal, ah, shit. Hey, the damage is great. <laughs> mistakes have been made. Yeah, yeah, mistakes have been made. Oh! Oh, come on. Let's all be honest, it would have been cool if you could actually roll through it. Ah. <laughs> One mistake is all it takes for you to fail. Oh well. It would have been cool if you could just roll through the whole floor. That would have been cool, honestly. But I understand it would have been bullshit. Like, really? Really? You can roll. You can roll through floor damage, basically. Really? But here's the thing: not everything in games has to be, you know, hard, difficult. There is some fun in destroying enemies. And I might be saying, uh, I don't think that's fun. Well, you know, it's your opinion. But 
it would have been fun if you could just destroy enemies. Why? There is sense of... Of, uh... Oh. Stop that shit right now. There is sense of... I won't say euphoria, because that doesn't make any sense, but there's a sense of... There's a good feeling when you destroy something completely. Like, when you know that whoever you're fighting has no chance. And of course it gets boring after some time, because... There's no challenge to it anymore. You know, you know, it... You, it just makes no sense. Why would you fight something when you have no chance of winning? It's like that. But at the beginning, extremely fun. That's why I advise anyone, whoever does Dark Souls 2 and never, and never plays it, farm the the giant lord. Farm him. Get millions and millions of souls. Whoa! Okay, the range of these fucking bitches are amazing. Why do I not get that range when I play with these weapons? And I love them, so... Dancer, what's the difference between me and you? <laughs> Can you please stagger? For my sake? I'm playing an aggressive game, honestly. And the aggressive game pays out if you have stamina. If you don't, you fucking pay the price. You pay the price if you if you don't have the stamina and you play the aggressive game. Cause that right there, that was an aggressive play. Just sticking to her and let just dodging through every attack she does. It consumes stamina like a motherfucker. But it does help when you have the fastest roll, the sub 20, the sub 30, 25 percent equipment load roll. That is the fastest roll, or at least the placebo effect makes it feel like it's the fastest roll. Now, of course, we all know what the placebo does. That's why it's a cunt. But the point is, it's the fast. <laughs> it gives the the effect of being the fastest. Also, yes, winner. Uh, you know, two minutes off the dev. This this is gonna be a three hour run or a sub three hours, like a two fifty something. I can appreciate that. I love when I run in sub three hours because it it makes you know it feel it makes me feel like I made some progress with my Dark Souls plays. Although I haven't played this game, yeah, I haven't speed run this game in a long time. It makes it feel you know. It gives a sense of. You're still good. You're not great, but you're good. And I can appreciate that. Also, it doesn't help that my PC is just really, really old. <laughs> and everything that I try to do fast just lags out like a crazy mud. Okay, are serious? You're trying to prove a statement that you can jump? Listen, just because FromSub gave you the ability to jump doesn't mean you have to abuse it. It's not nice. It's not nice. Show some respect to your enemies. Also, 315 damage? No problem, Marcus. No problem. 315 damage with a Storm Ruler unexpect. Really? Really? I mean, really? Okay. Listen. You can't go around doing the double missed attack and then do a jump. You just no. No. I refuse to believe. Also, Osiris, can you do me a favor and let me stagger, you know, let me visceral attack you once? Just once? I don't ask for, you know, 
I don't ask too much, I hope. This only once. I mean, yeah, I know I have to be in front of your face. Like I am right now, but apparently you're not gonna let me. Asshole. Yeah, he's not... He's not letting me do it! Damn it, serious. Why is your visceral attack opportunity so precise? Did I miss him twice? Did I actually miss him twice? But, we got I actually missed him twice. Three times if you count after the after the series of attacks. Not cool. Not cool. The mu the music is great with this fight. You know, here's some lightheaded, you know, light-hearted music while we're killing a fucking. King slash maniac slash Drake. It's really fun. Also, apparently FromSoft is making a new game called Cold Vein. The art style is anime, which I have nothing against that because I am a fan of anime. Full Metal Alchemist, the best anime ever. For real. But uh, other than that, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good, and I can't wait to, to see further, you know, development of it. I'm sad that it's not Bloodborne 2. I had to swallow. Uh, I had to swallow a lot of sadness because I was hoping that Bloodborne 2 will come to PC and not just be to PS4. Those, those damn fuckers. But uh, no, no, it wasn't. So Code Vein, it will be on PC, so I'm probably gonna get it. Can't wait. Sometimes even the late parry is the right parry. Other times, don't even try to parry. 450. We're doing good damage! I cannot say I'm not. Partial parry. Uh, you know my opinions on partial pairing in Dark Souls 3. It's the best in Dark Souls 1. It's the best. Sorry, but it's the truth. Partial pairing in Dark Souls 1 actually gave you a parry. Not like these bitches where they, where they have a chance to give you a parry. Depends on what iframe you hit the parry. Come on! Couldn't you make it more simple? Like, like in Dark Souls 1. If the enemy was about to hit your shoulder, you parry, and the parry happens. That's it. Come on. Like, come on. That's how I learned to parry, man. Of course, from Epic Name, bro. I mean, that guy taught me many, many things. Many things, damn. I also blame him for my uh, fascination with no armor and going with fast rolls. I blame him. Because trust me, nobody goes to Dark Souls and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go with armor, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll everything. Come on. Thank you. So yeah, I blame him. Get some tea. Now, if you don't like it, when the crash happens, I will pause the timer. Because the in game timer also pauses. So there's no reason for me to go around and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave the timer going. No. It will just make me more depressed. I don't need that shit in these runs. I don't need that shit. I'm easily influenced with depression. <laughs> I don't need that. Nah, I'm just kidding, but it doesn't feel good. 
and you you know you know what's to blame but you can't do anything about it it's a, it's a crushing feeling that nobody should feel for you know for real nobody should feel something like that nobody should be in that kind of situation nobody Thank you, dogs, for not hitting me again. I appreciate it. Now, apparently, you save and quit here, and they... And they go all the way inside. And once I see the dog, that's a red flag immediately. Save and quit. If I see a dog, I will save and quit immediately. I'm not a fan of dogs. I'm not. I'm a cat, I'm a cat person. You see, this is what I mean. So many people do actually save and quit on that part. Although, you know, I'm not used to it. I usually save and quit when I uh, have to deal with a lot of enemies or opening doors. Because that makes sense. Now, why should you look at the animation when you can just save and quit and deal with your, you know, and deal with it later? But, yeah. Like here, I don't save and quit here though. Why do I not save and quit here? Well, because I don't care about this part. True story. I don't care about this part. At all. Look at that, that fucking hold up, like, how much are you gonna hold it until you finally throw it down? In real life, heck in fantasy life that wouldn't be realistic. There is such thing called gravity, either it goes forward or backwards, you can't hold it for infinite amount of time. No matter how strong you are, you can't hold it, because gravity exists. Gotta love you gravity, gotta love you. Although, gravity can be limiting sometimes. Not too many times, of course. But sometimes, gravity can be limiting. Limiting, I guess, should be more precise way to say. Oh well. Thank you very much, Zigward. Zigward, Zigward. I think it's Zigward. Could be wrong, though. Wouldn't be the first time. Now I could save and quit here. But what's the point? I also like to have a point when I save and quit. This here, really no point in saving and quitting at this place. Because he's an enemy, you know, anyways, he'll become aggressive, so. Also, I'm really glad they allow you to actually light the bonfire after you open the door, and I'll be like, "Oh, you have to kill him or kill him first to open the bonfire." Please, please don't make it like that. Please, please don't make it like that. They made it like that, fuckers. In case I die, let's just send him back. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! I didn't even hear the throw! But I was I suspected it. I suspected it. I was like, okay, he is either preparing to smash me to bits or he's throwing. And well he flew. Although I was looking at the other guy, not at him for the throw. But I got it. Still got it. Do we like this bonfire? The answer is no. No we don't. No, really no particular reason for the bonfire. Also, I'm playing offline Steam, so... Except the Hodrick invasion, because he's an asshole and a bitch. Uh, we're not gonna have to worry about any other invasions in the game. 
amazing. Truly amazing. So yeah. Hold up. There we go. Kinda sucked I got hit, but oh well. I can live with it. I can live with it. That's right, Hardrick. Go home. You're drunk. Really? There we go. Not cool. Not cool. Not good RNG. Come on. Come on. Don't be afraid. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is bad RNG right now. And I hate this boss fight for it. It's RNG based and it's a gimmick fight. You don't do RNG and gimmick. You just don't do it. It becomes a boring fight that is not too bad, but not also anything special about it. It's just boring. At least we do. Oh man, 2000 damage? Okay, well, 3000 something. Almost 4000 damage. But that's bad. That's like. Execution is great, so it did like 4000 damage with one try. No problem, this one barely pulls it. Hmm. Well, it has no... I mean, let's all be fair, it has no scaling. For a no-scaling weapon... Okay, well, it has C-scaling in strength. The point is, for a weapon that has very mediocre scaling, the damage is not bad, actually. I like it. The damage is not bad. Is it a viable weapon for speed run for uh, playthroughs? Like soul level 1 playthroughs and shit like that? Yup! Totally viable! And even though I'm doing a soul level 9 challenge run, I'm not gonna be using this weapon. I'm, I guess I decided to stick with the broadsword, I think, and the mace. The broadsword is going. To, was, is raw, I think? Yeah, it's raw, and the mace, well, I have to upgrade. So yeah, I, but if I have to choose. And I didn't decide to limit myself because I did a run with the Storm Ruler. Storm Ruler definitely for any kind of those runs. Immediately Storm Ruler. I guess when I do the Soul Level 1 run or Deprived run, Storm Ruler is number one for me. I will go naked if it means I'm gonna have speed, I'm gonna have uh, fast rolls and the Storm Ruler. I will go naked. No problem. No problem whatsoever. But we're gonna see. It probably will be the weapon of choice for the soul level one run. Cause what what else is there? I think as the prime you start with a club and a plank shield. Which is better than you started with uh, Dark Souls 2. You started with nothing! Nothing! Great! Let's start a run. Oh, let's go with soul level one. Yes! What do you get? Nothing. Uh, what? What? You get nothing. You're done for. I'm sorry, but that's true. We can't offer you anything. So yeah. Abyss Watchers! Oh man, that's gonna be uh, a long journey.
we don't need this bonfire. Now let's hope we don't fuck this up. And by fuck this up I mean enemies don't be assholes. Come on, poor bastard fall. Although maybe I don't need this bonfire actually. Actually I do need it because I decided to do a different way of of taking on the bird column. So I actually need this bonfire. That's why I decided to go against the shortcut and uh, the shortcut for crucifixion woods just wasn't worth it. This is way better to quickly get to the third bond, third uh, column without any worries. Okay. Got it. This is where saving quitting saves your fucking life. No kidding. Saves your fucking life. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. So apparently there's a way to make the Banshee not attack you at all. And... Let me try it out. This will make the Banshee not attack you. I did it with my soul level 9 run and it was surprisingly successful. The Banshee didn't attack me. Which was surprising. Like, really? And yup, there is no Banshee. Interesting, isn't it? It is? It's very interesting, in fact. We're gonna need this bonfire, though. We don't pay our best watchers. More tea? Never hurt anyone. Really? Really? Hmm. Well that was um uh... That been worse than I expected. I, I expected the game to actually register my uh A smashing, but apparently the game decided to 
No. Some. Um, hmm. Time to bed. Hold on. I'm not gonna, gonna get this bonfire. The answer is no. Of course not. The bonfire is unneeded. I just straight on watch the animation of opening the door. That one, I just don't want to watch. <laughs> I really hate it. For no particular reason, I just really don't like it. Come on, thank you. Now, let's try to get the best. Abyss Watcher's first stage we can get, which is two backstabs. Okay, there's one. Good start, good start. And we ruined it. Yep, it's ruined. I had a dream, and that dream was not fulfilled. Sad, I know, but hold on. I overdid it on the. Wait, what? Did I just do extra damage to him because I was. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Damn it, Abyss Watcher, let me hit him. There we go. Yeah, the first stage is not the best, but oh well. Come on, come on, I know you want to hit it. Come on. There we go. Got him. Hmm. Wasn't ready for that one, Austin. That one's pretty good. Now that bonfire at the best watch is just there that in case I fuck it up somewhere along the path to High Lord Volnir and I uh and I die. So that's why it's there. It's cousin. I was like, for a second there, I was like, don't tell me the bowl is that close. Seriously, it can't be that the bowl is that close. And the answer is that yes, actually, the bowl might be that close. Well, the good thing is it wasn't. Don't know why I said the answer was, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that that wasn't the bowl. Now, did I say bowl or ball? So many questions, so little answers. Oh. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! Got it! Whew! 
Okay. I was worried there for a second. Stamina sometimes really seems like it's not enough. Sometimes. Sometimes. Now I know I will not I will not need to have to rest at a bonfire after Volnir, but but I just I don't know I have to I mean I have to light it so I don't know Damn it! Didn't see the hand. Thank you very much. I hate the mini freezes sometimes. Got it. And last one. Come on, Volnir, do your famous I'm gonna charge at you attack. The world famous I'm gonna charge at you attack. Come on. Come on, come on, don't be afraid. You son of a bitch. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? What the fuck? That's three times you did that attack. Come on! This son of a bitch. What will it take? Oh, okay. Yeah, or, or that. That actually works too. Thank you. Fucking bitch. Taking its sweet ass time to die. <sighs> Truly taking its sweet ass time to die. I mean, Mjolnir, I appreciate your design. You're actually fun to fight. But just because you're fun to fight doesn't mean I have to appreciate your bullshit sometimes. It doesn't mean that. Okay, okay, don't, don't, don't cross it. 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 Thank you. Go. Oh, fucking skeleton. So many skeletons. So little time. Huh. Oh well. We don't need that. Actually, I might, need, I might not need anything from here. Because 9 Estes is enough. It, oh, it's enough to kill this son of a bitch. So, maybe we don't actually need the bonfire before. I don't know. We might actually need it. But we're... Mm, no, no, no. I refuse. I refuse. I hate this fucking giant crossbow. Ballistas, what are we gonna call them? They're, they're called ballistas. Yeah, I know. It's an Italian word, I'm pretty sure. Or Latin. I think it's Latin. Makes sense, because it was used by the Romans, so... More precise, the Roman Legion. So it kind of makes sense that it's Latin, but at the same time... At the same time, we all do time, so I don't know, man. I don't know. Did he just... That motherfucker had to start that attack, huh? That attack one-shot me when I was fighting him in uh, with, soul level, with soul level 9. One-shot? I mean...
Okay, first and foremost, I am more powerful than you are. Motherfucker, don't step on me. Just because you're big doesn't mean you can fucking do shit against me. Second of all, I hate your fire. I know that's your thing. I appreciate it. Trust me. I appreciate it. But go fuck yourself. Oh no. He actually met. And that's a wall. Or a column. A column. Okay, no, there's no way I'm gonna get there. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. I'm not gonna talk about the, the meteor attack because that's definitely a one shot in Soul Level 9. It just is. Wait! Got it! There we go. Oh, first Sage. No, it's gonna be a fun fight. The one and only Crystal Sage. It's been an honor, sir. What? Honor? There is no honor in Crystal Sages. They're just assholes. Nothing else. Which is kinda annoying. Because... Really... Multiplying enemies. Kind of stupid. <laughs> now, it does not have to do with anything that I despise the boss fight, and I think it's one of the worst boss fights of Dark Souls 3. Right there with the deacons and, you know, Gravekeeper, but not on the same level as Soul of Cinder. That boss fight is on a whole different level of bad. Some people might not agree. Fair enough. You don't have to agree. It's your choice. But to me, honestly, Souls of Center boss fight is just a fucking stupid piece of shit thing that should never be as it is portrayed in this game. Ooh, 900 damage, huh? Okay. Wait, what? Really? That wasn't the guy I was looking for? Sometimes I just don't know. Fuck you! And there go Crystal Sages. Time for demons. Oh yeah, right, the crystal lizard suicides. I forgot. What you gonna do? Anger up? Oh, come on, give me a break. And there go the dogs, and faster than ever, baby! Faster than ever! Shit. Teleporting and fat. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. No matter how many times I experience it, I'm not gonna be done being pissed at it. 
It just bullshit. Teleporting dogs. I'm just saying, I love Anestis. Is that going to be enough? Well, let me tell you something. The answer is yes. It's going to be enough. It doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take a lot of effort to kill the deacons. But some luck is always luck. Heck, in anything that you do, you need luck. Don't believe me? <laughs> oh, you. Poor fools. No, but really though, luck is a big factor sometimes. You sorry fool, you couldn't be the chosen one. It's funny once you understand you understand the lore and you realize some shit. It's just funny when they say that. Okay, that was good. I was way long. Oh, welcome back, Marcus. Sorry, didn't see the message. Eh, no worries. We just killed a couple of bosses. No worries. I mean, you're right. You're right at time for an exciting fight. The Deacons. The best fight of Dark Souls Three. Technically not a lie, technically not a truth, so... Hmm... Think about it. He, I knew it, I knew it, in the back of my mind I was like, bitch you better not kill me, I don't have time to die, so don't even try, quickest best, yeah the quickest, uh, quick step is the best step, correct, in these circumstances, in, a, in any other way, not worth it, nor need it, but once in the mud, oh yeah, once in the mud, take out your dagger and perform a, dex a, dex a quick step, damn, these fucking lines, it'll get you to your destination quicker than you can say cheese, why cheese, I don't know, I like cheese, I do like cheese, mozzarella, swiss cheese, that doesn't matter, love, it. so yeah, Shouldn't I be one-handing this weapon? I mean, we are fighting a horde of enemies, and that's the beauty... Bitch, what? Oh. It's that, dude. I thought, I mean...
Don't break. For some reason this weapon breaks rather quickly. So, don't, don't break. I need you. Weapon- What the fuck?! Again?! Against deacons?! You gotta be kidding me! Why are you doing this to me, Storm Ruler? Why are you doing this to me? I thought we were friends, man! Breaking so quickly? Damn! Not cool, man. Not cool. I don't understand. Why give Storm Ruler 10 durability? Who in their right mind decided that Storm Ruler needs to have 10 durability? Seriously, what the fuck, guys? I mean, it has to be the lowest durability in the game, weapon wise. What, what, what the fuck? Why? Makes no sense. Just simply makes no sense. Guess what? I'm gonna have to pause the pause the speed run because I don't know. They're calling for me. I didn't see shit. So I'm gonna be actually I don't know if I'm gonna be right back, but hopefully not gonna be too long. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. Sorry about the pause, but... It was something stupid. Let me just say that. The reason for me having to go was something very, very stupid. Oh well. And the fire got me. Of course it did. You can't run away from the flame. No one can. It will haunt you forever. That was creepy. But it was meant to be creepy. Because what flame haunts? No, no flame haunts. Or haunts, should I know. I should stop with the whole. 
uh, Arlene pronunciation of the word hunt, but it's too good. It's too good. I can't stop. Sometimes I wonder, will I be ever, will I be ever able to stop? Actually, no, I don't. Really, really, you just couldn't let me pass. Just a little bit. Nothing serious, nothing too much. Just a little passage. For little old me. But I guess not. Oh yeah, why did I kill the giant alligator dog? I could've just run past him. I totally forgot. Oh well, it's not like this run is going to be anything new for my PB, so who cares? Who cares? Alright. Please run. Thank you. Got it. Hi, Doom. No problem. Still having to study for the IT test, or unfortunately, something more worse. <laughs> No problem, Marcus. Thanks for stopping by. Come on. Don't, don't do me like that. Well, at least you gave me an opening. I can appreciate that. At least some. Damn rats. They're not fun at all.
All right, that went smoother. Not bad. Really? Already? What the fuck? Oh, oh that's, that, that's it. More tea. Always need. Motherfucker. Oh well, let's see how this goes. The answer is... Okay for now. <laughs> oh, come on. I actually got that. Admit it. Okay, sometimes game lagging really doesn't help me. That's at least a parry. Come on. Okay. 
There we go. That was an okay fight. There were some slow parts there, but all in all, fine. Fine. Hmm, well that's a miss, unexpectedly. Oh well. And now we wait. For the end times. <laughs> Times indeed. <laughs> Thank you for absorbing my falling damage. I appreciate it. No, I truly do. <sighs> my bitches do it, they do it. Now this is where we do not that amazing amount of damage. Really? The hail fire? Let's call it hail fire. But seriously, that? No, nothing else. Oh yeah, of course. Now the arrows. After the first... Oh no. After the first kind of bullshit, we got the second kind of bullshit. I am sorry, but... Whoever thinks that the arrow attack from Aldrich is cool or good or whatever other than bu total bullshit have we played the same game like I know pre no, people don't think that but if anyone ever thinks that because you know I hate to generalize things there's always someone's gonna say hold up I like, I like something different I, I don't like the same thing 
Even though people can say like, oh, you know. Everyone says Dark Souls 1 is better than Dark Souls 2. Well, guess what? Not everyone. There are people who think Dark Souls 2 is better than Dark Souls 1. I'm one of those people. And I do mean the scholar version, not the normal Dark Souls. So yeah. If you do an arrow attack, well, I'm Motherfucker, just doesn't give two shits, does it? Just, just decides to, you know what, it would be fun. Let's do an arrow attack. Yes! You know, I know the enemy is like two meters away from me. But let's do an arrow attack. It's perfect. Like, I can understand the swarm shit. The arrow attack. It's what makes this boss. Oh! Oh shit, now, now, now I'm mad. What the fuck is that RNG bullshit? Oh, you know what? Let's make him do a narrow attack. I know, I know, I know, I know. Like, the, the, bot, the enemy is like two, two meters away. Do the arrow attack. Like, what the fuck, man? I wish that in Code Wayne, that they actually made it so that the AI actually tracks your position and that way decides to do range attack or a or a melee attack you know if it has both or if it has both uh, options that would be perfect because this right now that, that was RNG and sometimes I don't like my RNG oh yeah right you get teleported back to to the whatever it is entrance to the castle I guess we could call it maybe maybe not I don't know what I do know is we're gonna go kill ourselves ancient wyvern Wait, my bad. The time was 2.34? Oh, damn. I thought it was 2.45. Wow, then. That, that, was, that is going to be tough to beat. Okay, I'm not that tough, but it's going to be interesting when it happens. Sometimes bullshit is just too real. Just 
so weird. Try to hit me with his motherfucking tail. Not cool. So funny they have does it so suddenly. Oh I'm gonna I'm gonna throw I'm gonna breathe fire where you are. Oh wait no <laughs> Psych Don't miss Psst. It happens once every pale moon but it fucking happens and it's annoying as fuck. Oh, gold! Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Gold? Have you checked the time? Sometimes I don't understand these love splits. I don't understand the program sometimes, but oh well, if it says gold, we got a gold! Boom. Yay! I'm sorry, I should be more happy, but realistically speaking, I'm not. I don't have great time. It's like a, a little constellation prize. Oh well, uh, one more pause. Fuck my life. Why can I not? Just... Uh, yeah, one more pause.
Well, you know, sometimes you just can't stream. This is one of those times, apparently. Let's uh, let's continue. <sighs> Hopefully, this time we can finish the the run. Uh, interruptions. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be honest with you, considering the fact that I had to pause twice during this run, I'm not feeling too happy and too sure that we're gonna have to pause the third time. So, oh well. Really? And then we're gonna have to pause the third time because of the crash that's going to happen. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, everything is perfect. <laughs> everything is fucking perfect. Fire attack. Okay. All right, let's do this.
Okay, we're done. Time for Dragon Slayer more. This ought to be fun. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. You know what? Because I know and I have a feeling, a big feeling, that the game is just going to crash after I enter the bonfire, enter the boss fight. I'm gonna save and quit. I'm gonna fucking save and quit. Right before the boss fight. Why? Because if it crashes, it will put me to this place. It ga the game automatically saves my position. So, theoretically speaking, if the game crashes all of a sudden, it will put me in this place. If it doesn't, then I call bullshit on everything this game ever does. Simple as that. Because it will be bullshit. We didn't crash. Okay. Does that mean I'll have to save and quit every time I sh I uh, speed run? Just so you know the crashes don't happen. Is that it? Maybe. Really? Already recovered? Hmm. Hard to believe that. But oh well. There we go. Gold 
Really? Gold? Okay. Let's go level up, upgrade our assets flask, and increase the number of assets flask we have, and then DLC. So what are we going to level up? Well, probably vitality. Vitality? What? No, endurance. Yep, probably more endurance. We don't need vitality anymore, because we're below 25%, and that's where we want to keep it. I hope I'm correct, actually. Well, we're gonna see once I start leveling. But first and foremost, unless I forget, there we go. And of course, upgrade the Astus Flask. Increase the Astus Flask. Sorry. Kind of both have the same meaning because we're upgrading in both cases, but you know. I'm a f I haven't talked to you at all, Ryan. <laughs> uh, endurance. Yep. There you go. How much? Yep, 24 point... 24.6! Wow. So it means I cannot even upgrade a bow, I'll immediately be over 25%. Oh well, that is life. But we got a lot of, uh, like, a lot of stamina now. 157? Was the... was the... Was the name? Not sure, but oh well. Actually, it doesn't matter if we crash this one. I, it actually kinda does. But maybe we won't. Let's see. Patiently. Yup, there's a crash. Okay, well, first pause it. Yeah, okay, I get it. it crashed. <sighs> I, uh... Sometimes I seriously... Seriously. Question the quality of this game. Sometimes. Especially when there are these crashes. Like, what the fuck? I thought we were over this. After Dark Souls 2, because Dark Souls was amazing on PC. So what the fuck happened? Did someone de- uh, uh, You know what? No. No. I will not bitch about it. I talked about it every time it crashes, and honestly, I think I said enough. At this point, I just don't fucking care anymore. So let's get back everything into position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we enter the game, we're gonna start. There we go. Okay. Grave Tender. Okay.
the fuck? By the way, I checked it that what the scaling was in Dark Souls 2 for the longbow. It was A scaling in Dex. A scale. What the fuck happened, Dark Souls 3? Why ruined the longbow? One of the best conceived bows in history. Why just. Why neuter it like that? Neuter it, or whatever the pronunciation is. Why? Makes no sense, honestly. Ha ah, ah. ha. No, no, no. There you go. Everything is going okay. That's good. That was weird. Even though I rolled. Yeah, wait, what the fuck? Interesting. But not interesting enough. Still. Bitch, please. Bitch, please! 
I said bitch please come on I was polite I said it okay this motherfucker now seriously this motherfucker right here There we go. It's a fucking lion attack. I have to do a run with this weapon and I really don't feel like doing it. This boss fight made me hate it. Believe it or not. Okay, time for the big bad wolf. Is, could this be considered fan service? Because people like uh, like the um, Sif. Because you know, I mean, let's all be honest. The Artorias thing is complete and utter fan service. Just like with the whole Slayer thing. Although I don't understand it honestly. They're not that great characters. Like, why do people like it so much? Luca Teal, in my opinion, is better than fucking Slayer. Benhar is better than Slayer. But no, people like them. Van Gaal, definitely better than Solaire. Yeah, people like Solaire much. I don't understand. And about Artorias? Like, no. I just don't like I don't, I don't feel Artorias. Like, okay, like the legend thing, okay, but other than that, eh, I guess other people. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It doesn't even matter. It's their thing, not mine. <laughs> it's, it's their thing. I just wish I understood it. That's the thing. That, that's the, you know, I wish I understood it, but... Since I don't... Oh well. I remember when I was done, first time playing for the, playing the DLC, I was like, when I killed Frida, I was like, that's it? R really? Nothing else? Like, there has to be something else. There has to be some secret that I missed, even though, you know, I was fairly thorough with the, with the exploration. Some parts I did miss, unfortunately, but most of the things I get, and I was like, when I got everything that I could get, I was really disappointed, like... There's nothing else there, one boss fight, and then... Online, I found out that there's a path that... How the fuck are you supposed to figure it out? I don't know. I guess the bridge is a big tell, you know, you can destroy the bridge and never... Click with me. But oh well. So that's where I found out about the Grave Tender. Not that... You know, it's a, it's a dumb boss. It's a dumb bot. Nothing special about him. But then there is a Ring Ring City DLC. When you have to have the when you have to find the route to continue to the bonfire to fight the demon prince. Oh man, I think like four hours. It took me just dying. Okay, maybe not two to four hours. I can't actually remember the exact time. It took me to find the fucking I gave up! Like I just gave up, like, I went online, fine, like, what fucking, how? How to kill the angels? And then when I found out how, I was like, you have to be kidding me. That is the way, like, oh, how do you find it? It's so well, it's stupid how hidden it is. Like, that's the problem, it's so stupid how hidden it is. It's fucking disgusting. And yet, you know, you have to find it. I was mad. I, w I was pretty mad once I found out the secret. I couldn't, I was like, I was thinking like, okay, maybe it's some secret wall, something, you know, some shit like that. No, motherfucker, no. Really? 
Really? That didn't parry? Wow. But well, that one did. But wow, the other one didn't parry? Shit, man. Okay, that one I, I, I accept. That one. That was a botched parry. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, come on! Fine. Heal. There we go. <laughs> the clipping man, the fucking clipping is so funny. Just because I'm not sure if you need to open the fucking door, man. To access the DLC. Like, do you have to free her or not to access the DLC? Because first there was a story that you need to talk to her to access the DLC to get the bonfire to appear. When you kill Frida and then there is a talk like, oh no. You don't need to. Now I'm paranoid. Like, do I need to open the gate or not? Because I realized that you didn't, you didn't have to talk to her, the, the bonfire will appear. So do you need to open the gate? Like, what the fuck? What's the answer, damn it? Well now, hopefully we will not die here. It will be horrible, but eh, it happened before. No, really, eh, it happened before. Not that pleasant. Okay, we got it. Not the first try, but second one. So, still good. Time for freedom. There we go. Better position. Okay. Now again, it's tradition that we parry free that twice. So we will do that. And of course, fail a second time. Ah, eh, partial parry. Oh man. 
parried the world challenge run was a fucking nightmare with Frida. Not as bad as with the deacons, because they're basically impossible to parry. Just because they don't give you... They basically don't give you an option to be, to be able to be parried. Okay. Good job. Let's one hand this thing. Why one hand? Because one handing gives you more reaction time. And what do I mean by that? Well, frostbitten baby. Frostbitten, ice cold, <laughs> and shit like that. Fuck you, Frida, you annoying! Uh, she's the worst in this phase, honestly. They could have done it better. Honestly, they could have done it so much better, but no. In fact, we don't need the third phase. We don't have we don't need the third phase. But no, someone decided. You know what would be cool? Let's add in a, a fucking second phase. Well, no. I consider the Black Flame Frida to be the second phase. This, this is just bullshit. She's annoying. Ariandel does nothing. Annoying little fuck. But we're done. Although the worst part of that run was Third phase Frida and Dragon Ceremony. Those two were the worst parts of this of the Parry the World challenge run. Like it's so annoying to parry her to find out okay what like what attacks were parryable and shit like that. It was so annoying. Oh, well, yeah. baby, what is that? You don't do that attack that often. It was you have to coax it out of you. Coax it? Is that even a fucking word? I guess it is. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Not today, baby girl. Not today. I still think they could have done much, much better with the frostbite effect. They could have done much better, but no, they actually kind of fucked it up. Listen, all this takes a lot of getting used to. Oh, come on. And you do get used come to Come on, Frida. Even I know that's bullshit. There's three things I'll always miss, though. One, not having to watch my step all the time. Two, uh, forget about two. And three, I miss the songs. Folks from Ceylonia knew how to carry a tune. Sure, we've got some songs on the old gramophone, but try and imagine what they sounded like playing to a room full of fine people, unwinding at the soul regret after a hard day's work. Those were the days. 
There we go. Ah, oh, time for the imprints. One fifty five. This is gonna be like a two forty, two fifty one. Which is not bad. Two hundred and fifty minutes, not bad at all. The main thing that I guess that ruined the run was the death against Dancer. But then again, eh, it's alright. Just in case, because this jump can be uh, a bitch to deal with, so just in case. You see? How the fuck are you supposed to realize that you have to jump here? How? With the angel constantly, constantly bombarding you with the fucking... Whatever they are. Soul... Uh, miracle, lightning souls, whatever they are. I don't know. Light, lightning spears? Maybe? I don't know. Lightning arrows? The point is... How? Okay, time to uh, time for the imprints. Not that difficult fight. Just remember, kill the top guy first, then the second guy, then the bottom guy. And we're gonna be fine. By the way, I'm so glad I found out about it. Like, they are actually different RNGs. That it's not like, oh. Listen, bitch. Uh, go fuck yourself. There you go. That's acceptable. Oh. At Doom's Gate. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck is happening? I'm hearing some cats fight. <laughs> what? Okay, seriously, what the fuck? Damn it! Wrong moment. I I'm gonna have to. I have to. Hold up.
Okay, so my grandma's cat, because my grandma kind of, is kind of cannot take care of her cat anymore. She had a cat and uh, she gave it to us, you know, to run around the, the backyard and, you know, be, you know, be here with us. And there's some fucking cat from neighborhood that attacks her because just a douche, man. <laughs> An asshole of a cat. And I just couldn't let it, I mean, fuck's sake, I can't listen to cats fight, first of all. Horrible sound. Second of all, don't fuck with my cat, man. Or my grandma's cat, to be more precise. Still, not cool. So I had to stop. I'm sorry for the third, fourth. Fuck's sake, fourth pause. And phone. What? Okay, my bad. Can we... How, okay, how can I just... How do I get it back? Hold, hold up. Numpad 1. Okay. There we go. I'm sorry, I have to go again! Fuck my life sometimes, man. I just can't stream. <laughs> I'll be right back. For fuck's sake, please no more pauses. Please. This game ridiculous. We can still do it with 13 S's. She's so stupid. Like what? Six pauses. Five. Five fucking pauses. Let's not make it six, please. Just... 
this is why I hate doing speedruns during the fucking day. Because anything can happen! Hey, you know, nobody gives a fuck what you're doing. Why should they? Alright. It's fine. I'll survive. I survived so far. Oh, we got it. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I don't need poison in my life. Sorry, toxicity in my life. So, no thank you. Don't worry, little boy. I'm gonna die too. Yep, there you go. Finally, we can move on <laughs> from Diamond Prince. Diamond Prince. Finally! Okay, just because we made it to the third stage doesn't mean I have to die to it now. Oh, we'll start, by the way. BITCH! What's even happening? Weapon at risk? Oh, you're just a fucking gem. You're beautiful, baby. How you break is just amazing. Fuck I rolled. <sighs> well, let's hope the Abyssal Drake doesn't go with so many pauses. Let's say it like that.
Although sometimes I have a sneaking suspicion that it will go. Ah, also, damn it. That's a lot of curse resistance. Damn. Guess that's what 40 endurance gives you. A shit ton of curse resistance. You can I just state for the fact that how stupid it is that there are multiple curses in this fucking game? Like, what's. It just shows more to the point that the whole dog sign thing. It, that's no curse. There is no curse. But people were taught that it's a curse, so they believe it. The legends say the dog sign, the curse of the undead. Well, think again, sweetie. <laughs> Not like that. I'm not dying to these bitches. I ain't going out like that. <laughs> and my character... Luckily, it didn't hit me. But my character didn't even roll when I pressed B. Which is... Comical. Just, uh... Next level comedy. If I say so myself. Thank you. No, bad arrows, bad arrows. Well, let's hope for a clean run, shall we? Because I'm I'm not in mood for one shots, and this bitch can one shot you. So, yep, good job, clean run. That's what I mean by clean run, not. Not, not, not taking any damage. It's just impossible because the whole area is covered in flames. It's not getting hit by the fucking dragon. Okay. All good. See no more. Now, this might be a costly mistake. If I die, it's a costing mistake. If I don't die, then it's uh, it's great, obviously.
296 damage. Uh, okay. I've seen better, I've seen worse, so I can't judge it. Pretty average. But my soul is gonna break. Then I'll rest the bonfire. short uh, actually no it's not long enough it's decent size for a great sword but it's a fractured great sword really that attack of all things well, I'm pretty sure it will do the whole super mad attack yep it's doing it calm down abyssal Drake calm down just because I made you go to like 40% of your HP doesn't mean you have to go be full douche. It doesn't. No, it does not. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, I got it! Nice. Stop at the laser beam. I rule this town. Okay. 2.13. Oh, it might actually be a 3 hour run. I'd say it takes us 10 minutes to kill Abyssal Drake. Let's send 2.25. Church Spear. It's Church Spear. Let's say 7 minutes. Then. Uh, 2.32 and then Gale 10 minutes at 2.42 Twin Princess eh, 3 to 5 minutes 2.47 actually might actually be sub 3 hours I don't know um, it all depends on these next fights like how well the RNG is going to suit us it's gonna be a bitch we're done it's gonna be good and yeah we have a chance A good chance. A good chance. Three hundred and seventy damage. That's we do one hundred and thirty five. No wait, no. One hundred and eighty five damage to his tail. Okay. I can uh Yeah okay. Oh, am I done? Am I done? Nope! Not today, motherfucker. Not today. Yep, 185. Why did my camera do that? I didn't expect him to do the, the, the do the hand attack again. Didn't expect that. I'm lucky though. I dealt like two two thousand damage to him in total, so not complain. You cannot complain with that kind of results. No can you?
I want to hit him one more. But no. Oh well. By the way, RNG is good. That was good RNG for now. We got rather quickly to the second phase. So yeah. Of course now apparently he decides to fly. Yes. Abyssal Drake, yes. We know you can fly. It doesn't mean you have to use it. Motherfucker doing his well, no, he's not doing his tidal way attack that he sometimes likes to do. Not to show off, but uh, that one is still dangerous from time to time. Not always. It's going to be dangerous when we do the when I continue with the soul level nine run. That's going to be dangerous an attack because I'm pretty sure every every hit of that shit hit destroys me. So yeah. The solo line one is going to rely a lot on RNG. Oh, this is the tidal wave. Right? This is the shit I'm talking about. That's the one that's dangerous. You see, he commands the doctors. He commands it. Okay, dude, seriously. Come on. This is now bad RNG. We're now in the bad RNG territory. Don't do this to me, Abyssal Drake. Come on. Don't do this to me. Uh -huh. Oh, come on! Now I'm mad. Because it would be, be great to be in front of him, but no, I'm at the back. Because the motherfucker decides to play like that. Why, why is he giving me this bullshit RNG? Why? Okay, finally! Finally something I can deal with! And then some bullshit again. Oh, yay! Bullshit! This uh, this RNG I hate. Oh what? One hit? Really? One fucking hit? Fuck you, my dear. I don't even know where the bonfire spawns, so that's why I just stand still. But either ways, 219. Yeah. Kinda expected, I guess. Let's just go fight Church Spear. Now Gale is going to be a problem. Gale is going to be a serious problem because I have to poison him with a different weapon. I can't use can't use resins on the boss weapons. It's got bullshit. I mean, come on, let us use resins. What's so special about boss weapons that you can't use them on them? Like what? What? What's the what's the difference? Both of it is a weapon. So what's the what's the deal? Seriously, what the fuck? I just don't want to deal with this, so save and quit. By the king's decree, you shall not pass. 
pass. Well, you're not Gandalf, so go fuck yourself. Of course I'm not pass. <laughs> Heed my call. No, hearken to the what the, the fuck does hearken mean? I guess come to my call or whatever. But that's a stupid fucking name, not right? Hearken. Sometimes I just wish. There you go. Time for the spear of the church. The church. You do realize I have stamina for days, right? But the fucking partial parry I can do without. Motherfucker! You know what, that was good actually. That was uh, interesting, I have to say. Done. And at a good time, not bad. At this point, we don't need fairies. We need fairy shields. No, really, we don't. We don't need them. If there's, there's no boss we can parry. Gale, then Twin Princess. So that's it. This might be a 245, 249 run, and if it gets to 240, uh, that's going to be amazing. Truly amazing. Come on, don't you want to jump? Fuck you, Gail. Oh, now you jump. It's going to be a long fight.
Okay, third phase. Third what? No, second phase, sorry. It's very easy to poison him in the second and third phase and the first phase. Oh, lucky! That's what I mean when I say there's some luck in these runs. Oh, wait, what? Third phase already? Okay, that... That's weird. Why the third phase already? Oh, come on. Oh, it's poison. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Overdid it. <laughs> Is that even possible? I don't know. Weird. Did they get hit or did they not drink? Okay, we're done. Two thirty. Yeah, okay. Even though everything is red, getting two thirty kind of kind of amazing, honestly. I was expecting like two forty something or something like that. Or at least 235, like 246, or 247. But no, this was actually pretty good, 231. And we're getting to 10 princes. So amazing. Simply amazing. I don't want a fucking crystal spear. It tends to hit me there. When I pass the crystal lizard, it tends to hit me with the crystal spear, and I really, really, really don't like it. Don't like it, damn it!
<laughs> Told you. Motherfucker tries to hit me with crystal spears. Ain't gonna happen, but try. I think I need the shortcut. Might regret it later, but right now I'm feeling good about myself, so no shortcut. Okay, I'm calling it 243. That's going to be the time I'm going to have at the end. 243. And that's my gold time for this run. 243. Let's see if we get. Oh, come on, I press B. Really? Bad attack. Of all attacks, you do that one. <sighs> well, damage really jumps when you have full HP. I could have reposted him. Yeah. I could have visceral attacked him, but that's fine. Okay, second phase. Relatively quickly. Relatively quick. Sorry. Wow, my. Uh, my bad. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to do it by two, you know, two times killing uh, Lothric, not only Loria, not only once. Because Lothric, even though he has no fucking armor, no fucking, you know, no real damage, fresh, fresh, threat, he has a lot of HP. And you might imagine that's fucking annoying. Look, look at it 418 damage we do to him. And he just has HP to spare. Doesn't even care, motherfucker. Not cool, man. Not cool. Is that it? No, it's not there, but it's close. You know what? I can. What the fuck? I was about to say I can I can do close. What's with the camera? My words, Ashen One. You remain among the accursed.
Okay, so we have six minutes to... Yeah, like I said, 2.43. That's my time that I plan to finish this run. If I finish below that, awesome! Above that, I'm disappointed. All right, that. Hey. We're enjoying the run. We're enjoying the run. Let's go to this thing. Oh, come on. That was very aggressive. I have to say, that was truly aggressive play. Oh, oh. oh man. Got word there for a second. Oh no, this is your biggest mistake, friend. Two forty one. Damn, that's good time. I'm happy. I'm very much happy. Two minutes off, okay, one twenty off to what was the goal. Fucking happy. Let's just wait for the cutscenes and all that shit. Well, there we go. No, no new game plus two. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Bye.